In this mini lesson, we will be reviewing tile grid arrays to show multiplication and area as well as the directions for the cover up workplace game to practice these skills. Let's review what an array is. An array is a group of symbols, in this case tiles, arranged in straight rows and columns to represent a multiplication fact. For example, six times five is arranged as an array with six tiles down and five tiles going across. That makes up a total of 30 tiles in the middle, which is our product or our answer. And 30 shows the area of the tile grid we made with our six by five array. Check out these tile arrays. 10 by three is 10 times three, which is 30. So this grid shows a total of 30 tiles. A tile area that shows four by two would look like four down and two across. Notice that we are covering up the grid with our tile arrays, hence the name of our game. A four by seven tile array would be four down and seven across with an area of 28. And check out this last one. Four by four is just four down and four across. Multiply those together and get 16, which we know is the total area of the yellow shaded grid. Okay, so let's learn how to play cover up. You're going to need a cover up record sheet to share, but if you don't have an actual paper today for the game, you can go to the link in the description box below so that you can have a digital version of this record sheet and real spinners to click on and spin with for the game. Determine who will be player one and who will be player two, and then take turns spinning the spinners and coloring in arrays with those dimensions. On each turn, players use a black crayon or colored pencil to label the, array, the area of the array. Players will talk to their partners about how they found the area. For example, if I am player one, I would spin my first spinner and get a two, spin my second spinner and get a six, and now it's my job to create a two by six array on my grid. So I would color in two down and six across and I write the equation two by six or two times six equals 12. Now it would be my partner's turn to spin their spinners and create the array on their grid the same way. Players will each get four turns. Players should use a different color for each array. And you can imagine your grid is going to fill up fast, especially if you spin some higher numbers. So if a player spins dimensions for an array that will not fit, the player loses that turn unless he or she can find room to draw two smaller arrays that add up to the area of the array that was initially spun. The two smaller arrays must both use one of the dimensions spun on that turn. So for instance, if I spun another five by six, I know that I could not fit another five by six array on here. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, it would go into this array. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, yep, it just wouldn't work. So with that being said, I could take one of my factors, either my five or my six, and I could make two arrays. I could make a, I don't know, a five by, one, maybe a f one, two, three, four, five. I could do a five by two and get 10. And then I would need to do another five. One, two, three, four, five. How could I make one more 10? So I've got, I could do five, one, two, three, four, five. And I could do it by, I could do two more and get three. So I, so I could get a total of 30 by making two smaller arrays and following those directions. After the players have had both four turns, they determine who got closer to 100 and by how much. They record this information on the record sheet and if players would like to play again, they can get another cover-up record sheet. 
Here's a few game variations. Players can spin each spinner five times and see if they can fit the fifth array in the grid. Players can spin each spinner five or more times all at once and then select dimensions for four arrays to fit into the grid. If players are having a hard time though fitting four arrays in the grid, they can play a few games in which they only spin three times. Players can play the game with a partner rather than against a partner to see how close they can get to 100 working together. At the end of the game, record the information about who won, how close was the winner to covering up all 100 tiles of their grid, and how many more points did the winner have than the other player. You can work on this together and take a screenshot if possible to share with me so I can see how your game went with your partner. On a PC, this is how you could take a screenshot, and on a Mac, this is how you would take a screenshot.